Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Sunday evening, so let's begin. First up, three alarm fire destroys barn in Deerfield. Take a look at this photo right here from a viewer named Chris Wall. He took the photo. As you can see, this is the photo of the barn fire in Deerfield, New Hampshire. A barn was destroyed in a three-alarm fire in Deerfield on Sunday morning. Firefighters were called to the barn on Raymond Road just before 7 a.m. Officials said no animals were in the barn and that the fire did not spread to any other structure. No injuries were reported. Since there are no hydrants in town, water needed to be shuttled in. Several other fire departments were called in to assist. I believe upwards of 15 or 16 different fire trucks were here, said Deerfield Fire Chief Matt Fisher. Some communities were able to give us two to three pieces of a pair of to help. It was an excellent example of how the mutual aid system works very well in New Hampshire. The fire's cause is under investigation. Multiple streets closed in reading for barricaded man inside home. Let's take a listen to that video from WCVB Boston. This is the Chevy Trax, the Chevy Equinox, the all-new Chevy Blazer, and the roomy Chevy Traverse. No matter what you're looking for in an SUV, Chevy's got you covered. This is video from the scene earlier. And this happened in Reading, Massachusetts. Police said a person has been taken into custody without incident hours after agencies from across the area responded to a barricaded subject in a home in Reading. You may see heavily police presence in the area, Reading police wrote on social media. There is no immediate threat to the public and the situation is currently contained. As a precaution, police closed South Street from West Street to Glossen Road. Police said Alvine Road was also closed from Witch Hill Lane to James Road. The situation on James Street has been resolved and the suspect was taken into custody without incident, police said around 5.30 p.m. There will be police presence remaining in the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Rockland police investigating rollover crash that injured two and broke utility pole. Take a look at the photo right here. 
as you can see, this is a photo from the crash scene. Two people were injured when a vehicle crash rolled over and broke a utility pole in Friendship early Saturday morning, according to the Knox County Sheriff's Office. Police said the incident happened at 2.43 a.m. on Cushing Road. First responders found a frostic grand trek on its roof with two people trapped inside. Take a look at this other photo. As you can see right here, the car on the side of the telephone pulled down. The driver, 43, of Cushing was taken to the hospital with serious injuries, while the passenger, 50, was taken to the hospital to be treated for minor injuries. The road was closed for almost six hours while officials investigated the incident. Police said speed and road conditions were significant factors in the crash. At least five people stabbed at Hanukkah celebration. Let's take a listen to that video from ABC News. So let's get right to the breaking news from overnight. At least five people stabbed at a Hanukkah celebration outside of New York City. It happened at the home of a rabbi late Saturday. The suspect stabbing and wounding several people before taking off in a vehicle this morning. Police say they have one person in custody. The governor of New York, meanwhile, has referred to the case to the state police hate crimes task force for investigation. This is the latest in a string of attacks on the Jewish community. And ABC Stephanie Ramos is right there on the scene in Muncie, New York with more. Stephanie, good morning to you. Dan, good morning. Last night was the seventh night of Hanukkah. Families here in Muncie were celebrating at the rabbi's home, which is right behind me, when all of a sudden police say a man walked in and started to attack. Report multiple people oh, yeah. We are right in front of the synagogue. Police locking down the bloody crime scene at a Hasidic rabbi's home in Rockland County, north of New York City, right next door to his synagogue. Several families were celebrating the holiday together at the home just before 10 p.m. when police say a man attacked them, leaving several injured. There's five uh, families that have uh, have family members that have someone that is really suffering tonight, seriously wounded. One witness describing the terrifying ordeal. I asked who's coming in. In the middle of the night, I ran into the other room because I tried to save my life. I saw him running down this way, so I ran out. All units on scene, extreme caution. Unknown as weapon was recovered or not. The FBI, among several agencies responding, crime scene technicians could be spotted collecting evidence and photos, and police canines also brought in. Police say the suspect is now in custody. A car believed to be involved in the incident found about 30 miles away in New York City. Police seem searching it for evidence. The attack leaving the community on edge. We were scared, but we, not, we were not surprised because this is not the first incident in New York. Why is this happening? And that's a question lingering in everyone's mind. This comes after a series of anti-Semitic attacks in the region within the last few weeks. The NYPD investigating at least nine possible cases, including this one, where a group of teens can be seen on surveillance knocking a man of Jewish faith to the ground. And earlier this month, a deadly shooting rampage at a northern New Jersey kosher market that left six people dead. Investigators blaming bias toward the Jewish community and law enforcement as motivation for the attack. A community spokesperson says those who are attending the celebrations barricaded themselves inside of the synagogue. Police say the suspect was not known to them before this incident. Dan. 
so struck by the words of one of the men from that community. Why is this happening? Stephanie Ramos on the scene in Muncie, New York. Thank you. Hi. Okay, there you go on that video and that report. And that is it for this evening edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all enjoyed watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another newscast. Good night and bye, everyone.